time I'd like to bring up uh, a great friend of the city of Los Angeles, Mr. Tim Lywicki. If you please come forward. And, and Tim, let, let me just have you sit there for a moment because I have a, a unique opportunity and I'm going to take advantage of it. I'd like to bring up the greatest center to ever play basketball. Six-time MVP, six-time champion, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And lastly, an individual that I'm sure has upset a lot of people in this city of Los Angeles, especially if these people were from the Westwood area. An individual that played 16 years in the NFL, and I used to look forward to the Thursday um, Thanksgiving Thursday games so I could watch you and uh, Barry Sanders. Rodney Pete, quarterback, SC. The public hearing is officially open. Mr. Lawicki. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, City Council. Uh, first, I would like to go out of our way to acknowledge and thank some of the people on the city staff that have been tireless on this process. Uh, to Jerry Miller and the CLA staff, to Miguel Santana and the, a the CAO staff, to city planning, Michael Legrand and his staff, to the city attorney's office, and to the mayor's office. We are grateful for the time, the energy that you have all put in. I would also like to thank the council for your time, your energy, bringing us into each of your districts, uh, giving us an opportunity over the last two years to have over 200 community meetings and hearing from the public on this idea, this partnership, and the vision that we have for bringing the NFL back. 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago, the NFL left LA. We're the only community to date still in the history of the greatest league in professional sports to lose two teams in one year. It has always been our belief and our commitment to this city that this loss was not due to a lack of effort, energy, passion, or support, but it was about our facilities. And as we have demonstrated to the championship Lakers, Clippers, and now the championship Kings, as well as the Sparks, if you build a great home, they will come and they will win championships. We We are committed, in addition to the Home Depot Center and, and home to the Championship LA Galaxy, of adding a third crown jewel for this city, for this community, and for the sports fans and the community leaders here that will be a, a point of destination, not just for the greatest events in the world to come back to LA, but in particular, finally, for the return of the NFL to Los Angeles. This vision is one created out of private-public partnership. So we made a few commitments with Jan going in. We told her, and we told you, Mr. President, and we told this council, we will build it privately. And I'm proud to say to you today, the deal we, ha we bring before you for vote, the deal that we provide to the citizens of Los Angeles, is that this is a 100% privately financed football stadium, and the taxpayers and the general fund will never be at risk. You have our word on that, and it's in the agreement. In addition, this will be the, the most environmentally friendly stadium in the history of the NFL. That is part of the agreement. This will be a, a stadium in particular built by our friends and the partners in the labor movement. It will be a union building.
addition, and, and, and great credit to Michael and City Planning, this will be a public facility that will be built into the vision the city has for mass transit and next to two of the largest mass transit stations within our system. And we are going to do everything within our power to make sure that we encourage that we bundle and we sell, that we need to get people out of their cars and we will bring people to the stadium by mass transit. Most importantly for me is the convention center. I'm going to give you a statistic and much has been said about the stadium, especially in the last two weeks. Many people have thrown rocks at us in the last two weeks. Many people have an opinion on the announcement of an ownership change that quite frankly was important to get out before this vote, not after this vote. To me, this is the most important point. Next year, in 2013, the City of Los Angeles and LA Inc. are projecting that we will do 174,000 room nights for conventioneers. That is a 40% drop from 2012. Compare that to San Francisco, which will do 800,000 room nights. Compare that to San Diego, that will do 600,000 room nights. This convention center and creating the 1 million square feet that is contiguous will allow us to now compete with San Francisco and San Diego. And by adding those additional rooms, Mr. President, and this is the greatest win of this deal, by finding a way to, to correct and build a new convention center, and again privately without risk to the general fund, we will create a billion dollars worth of economic impact each and every year, and we'll see the creation of six new hotels built in downtown Los Angeles. As you all know, this has been a long haul. This has been a tough haul. Never before in the history of the NFL has a private entity stepped up and not only agreed to privatize the stadium, but done it with a lease payment back for the land from the city. We now turn our attention to the next two steps that are necessary to get this done. I apologize for the, for the delay or the dysfunction we may have created with the ownership announcement, but as we have committed to in the agreement, you have our word. The next owner in, the next partner for AEG, will be more committed to getting Farmers Field done and more committed than ever to bringing the NFL back to Los Angeles. <laughs> Secondly, to all of those in this city, in this community, and around the country that have said that this city, this council, and this body can never get their act together in order to get an NFL team here. We can never reach an agreement. We will never approve an environmental plan that is a plan that is unanimously supported throughout this community. For those that thought we couldn't do it, for those that thought we'd never get our act together, for those that thought the private-public partnership wouldn't work, we make a statement today to the NFL and to Roger Goodell, LA is now open for business. Bring football back to LA. Mr. Abdul Bar. Good morning, Mr. President and, and esteemed members of the City Council. It's a real pleasure for me to be here. I'm Kareem Abdul Jabbar, former Los Angeles Laker and a lifetime football fan. I'm here to encourage you to vote yes on Farmers Field. And I want to just enumerate a couple of reasons why I think that this is a great idea. I, stand, uh, I proudly stand beside Tim Lewicki and AEG because I know they are committed to revitalizing downtown Los Angeles and providing significant support to the surrounding community. And in that, what I'm talking about is jobs. In a time when unemployment is at an all-time high, this development couldn't come at a more crucial time for Angelinos. Farmers Field will generate over 30,000 new union jobs, 50% of which... Yeah. 50 percent of those jobs are targeted for local residents. I also want to uh, mention AEG's commitment to diversity. Minorities and women will be targeted to receive 25% of those jobs. Very important. In addition, 
They are committed to investing in programs to support youth and education, creating green space in our community and supporting all of our small business efforts. As we saw from the development of the Staples Center and LA Live, AEG has clearly proven itself uh, to, to have a track record for success and keeping their promises to the community. And as you can see from the amount of supporters here today, they still have the community standing behind them. You know, uh, I wore number 33 because uh, my favorite football team when I was growing up, growing up with the New York Giants, and they had a player named Mel Trippett who wore number 33. I, I still wore that number throughout my whole career. Pro football is something that has, has always inspired me and made me uh, think about things, uh, doing things that I couldn't possibly do. It's, it's a wonderful sport, and L.A. deserves it, and I can't wait for football to return to Los Angeles. Thank you. Mr. QB1. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, members of the City Council. Um, you know, I, I had a full-on speech I wanted to, to say, and I think that we've all heard a, a lot of the, you know, issues surrounding Farmer's Field and, and why it should happen. I went to USC. I, yes, you can clap for that, absolutely. I, I've lived here for over 30 years. Um, this is a, a bipartisan because my kids actually go to elementary school at UCLA. I played in the NFL for 16 seasons. I played for six different teams around the league. I've been to, been to several different cities. Um, I've enjoyed spending time in those cities. The most important thing, and I know we, we focus a little bit, and the reason why I'm here is to talk about my experience in the NFL, but the most important thing, I think that when we're talking about bringing the NFL back to Los Angeles and what farmers feel will, will mean to Los Angeles, it goes so far beyond football so far beyond football. I think we understand the impact of what the NFL has with this country. When you see both presidential candidates talk about bring the refs back, we understand the impact of the NFL. We understand how it can affect everyday society. But more importantly, it affects the people. And Just speaking to you now and knowing the impact, and I'm not just here to promote football. I'm, I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm, I'm the father of a special needs child who's 14 years old. And last year, one of the top priorities of AEG was to create a program called the Season of Giving where at LA Live, they created an ice, ice skating rink. And for one day, they allowed 200 kids, 200 special needs kids, to come and ice skate without anybody bothering them, anybody pointing fingers at them, and allowing them to have the time of their lives during the holiday season. We participated in that at our Holly Rod Foundation sponsored by AEG. The things that they do for this city and what they will continue to do for this city and what farmers feel and the NFL will bring to this city to only enhance what they've already done. Our next speaker, Maria Elena Durazo. Good morning. Um, I know you may have uh, getting a little tired of so many of us coming time after time and time after time, but it is our responsibility and it is a pleasure to be here to support this project. Eleven years ago, the first
community benefits agreement ever to be negotiated and signed with community-based organizations and with labor was done for Staples, the Staples Project. It was done with AEG and it was done under the leadership of Tim Lywicki. That community benefits agreement set the template and the model for the whole country to say that as an industry you can be successful and prosper and grow and at the same time provide good union living wage jobs for the people who work for you. And so, and so as a result of that, our region was transformed and thrived and it could not have happened without AEG. So we are proud here I represent hundreds of different union locals, hundreds of thousands of workers in many, many professions. Today we are here to support the new future of Los Angeles, the football stadium, and the convention center. We came to thank Mayor Villarragosa, the city council members, and the city staff to work so hard. We came to thank AEG, in particular Tim Laiwiki, for leading the way to rebuild LA's economy without putting up a bunch of excuses. His dynamic leadership has completely changed downtown and our economy. AEG financial investment and risk has paid off and now others are beginning to follow in their footsteps. But more importantly, let's thank the men and women who made LA Live successful. Let's thank the iron workers and the laborers the painters and the pie trades. Let's thank the stagehands and the ticket takers, the janitors, the hotel housekeepers, the cooks, the food servers, and the barbacks. And anybody who's here who does that work, thank you. And I want to say finally that last night I had the opportunity to speak to 500 apprentice electricians who are ready to work. It was a mosaic of mostly young, anxious, and hopeful men and women who are willing to study hard and work hard to earn a new middle class career. They are now ready to help build Farmer's Field. And you know what? And you know what? When they are done, when they are done building Farmer's Field, they're going to open the doors to thousands more men and women who will fill the new hospitality and industry, entertainment industry jobs that Farmer's Field will create. We're fired up and ready to work. We're fired up and ready for football. Thank you. Good morning. My name's Brian Darcy. I'm the business manager of IBW Local 18 that represents 9,000 utility workers in the city of Los Angeles. This is indeed a wonderful day that Los Angeles can prove that it can get something done. This is an unbelievable coming together of the city council, labor, business, and one of our best corporate citizens with a track record. So it's about time that we create jobs, 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 and revenue for the city of LA. Thank you, Mr. Yarsi, Dorsey High, Javier Sid Roosevelt, Harry Causey, Washington Prep. Please stand and welcome and thank you for your patience and joining us. It's very important. So please stand before you get on the bus. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for your support. So a big round of applause. Sarah Schatz, president of Central City Association business advocacy organization with hundreds of companies employing over 450,000 employees in LA and the voice of downtown Los Angeles. This is the right project in the right place at the right time. Not only it's right because of the jobs that it itself creates, but the enormous waves of economic development we're going to see around the stadium. We know because we are touring hoteliers, we are touring restaurateurs, we are touring lots of businesses who now are dying to come de to downtown Los Angeles. Good morning, distinguished council members. My name is Chuck Browning. I'm a second generation 
long-term employee of a very fine organization called Farmers Insurance. It is with great pride that we stand alongside Tim Laiwiki and our partners at AEG in anticipation of this next step towards naming Farmers Field and making it a reality.